Hello snowboarders of the internet, I am TC and today we are going to be reviewing the Ride Peace Seeker. So the camber profile for the Ride Peace Seeker is going to be a directional extra camber. So you have a rocker nose which makes it easy to get in and out of turns, also helps with float, with a camber underneath your foot all the way throughout the rest of the board to keep that stability and edge hold. This board's available in 138, 142, 147, 151, and 155. I rode this at Eldora Mountain. It was a really hot day, sunny, beautiful, super slushy, and slow snow. I used my Ride Fuse boots and Jones Mercury bindings. When it comes to torsional flex, you are able to foot steer it. It's not gonna be the easiest thing out there when you're trying to get around all those little pesky kids on the cat track, but you'll still be able to, to navigate through them like they're cones. Stability wise, this board is very stable. Even though you do have that softer nose, it will porpoise on you over those push piles and all that, but that stiffer tail will keep it so it is in contact with the ground, still has a solid edge hold with it where you can still drive off of that back foot. When it comes to ollieing and popping this board, uh, it does have that full camber pop to it and snap. So it does return that energy you put in. You do have a shorter tail, so you don't need to do that whole motion. You can just ollie it with your legs and you'll be just fine with it. The butter ability on this board is great and not so great at the same time. You have this giant nose on it with that rocker section to really press in, huge playful surface area up there. Once you get back to the tail, you're not really getting that much butter out of it. You can wheelie and press those forks into the ground, leave a sweet pin fork back there, but it's not the greatest for, for buttering on the tail. The nose is where you wanna have all that action happen. Carving this board was very nimble on those short, quick edge-to-edge -edge carves. It was inspired by Jake Blavo, where he does like that more nimble board, just like the Berserker is. On those medium carves, it does hold up extremely well. It'll hold that edge, feel nice and stable, and that really does translate to those long, drawn-out carves at high speeds. Now when you get to the bottom of the run and you want a Euro carve around those slow signs or just those people standing in the way, It'll totally do that and leave a trench behind you. So this board is made for anybody that wants to rip all mountain, hold a great edge and just carve it up on the mountain there. Personally, I thought this board was super fun. If you own a war pig or a super pig, but you just want a little bit more, a little bit quicker edge to edge, I would say this would be your board to add this one to your quiver. It held everything that I put up to it and it did it really well, super fun board. I'm a huge fan of it. For comparable boards, you'd be looking at the Jones Free Carver 9000, the GNU Gremlin, or the Ride Super Pig. The bindings I would recommend would be a Ride C9, a Jones Mercury, or a Solomon Highlander. This has been my review of the Ride Peace Seeker. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Are you gonna buy one? Do you own one? Let me know in the comments down below. I wanna see what you guys have to say. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, click that bell, and turn on those notifications. If you wanna support us further, head on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I can explain more here now, but we got a great video over there that'll get really in depth with it. As always guys, I'm TC, and I'll see you in the next video.